so even from super low power, you can see a really atrophic epidermis and then a little bit of a grim zone. And then the dermis is just replaced by like a sheet of inflammation. And what kind of cells mostly would you say these are? So histiocytes. Right. When you get even in a little bit closer, you can see that their cytoplasm has kind of some bluish gunk within them. So it would fit with glow by. Yeah. Um, you can use Bergdahl cells or Lepromidus leprosy. Very good. This is sheets of histiocytes with a kind of pale, frothy, kind of loose looking cytoplasm. And then they have those little empty holes or spaces like vacuoles filled with all of those are going to be mycobacterium leprae organisms. So this pattern is very distinct for leprosy, particularly the lepromatous form of leprosy. You could even argue that this one might even classify as histoid leprosy, which is when it basically becomes like a fibrohistiocytic pseudotumoral response to leprosy. Um, and let's see, I've got a couple pictures here. Oh, there was, oh, I forgot to show you. This is earlier. There's, there's leash, a good picture of, uh, of leash. Um, in a close-up view, but see, even with all the photo editing in the world, it's still hard to really capture them without oil immersion. Here, this is a leprosy, and it's tracking along nerves here. And here are plasma cells, which I find to be actually a really useful clue for leprosy and a little tiny nerve in the middle here. And then here's the pale frothy um, histiocytes and there's a globus right there or globi, plural. That's a, that's a globus, that's a globus, that's a globus and all that blue fuzzy stuff. There's another one there. I forgot to put an arrow on that one, I guess. And look at that, loaded on fight stain with acid fast bacilli and here you can see a nerve and they're right in the nerve itself actually around the perineurium in the the cytoplasm of the histiocytes everywhere and lepromatous leprosy is multivacillary that's the other kind of classification scheme you can use is posivacillary and multivacillary which i kind of like that actually because i think it's a little more simple the the, the lepromatous form tons and tons of organisms as opposed to the tuberculoid form which is usually posse um posivacillary has few organisms so this is lepromatous leprosy. And of course, as you guys know, there's all this borderline lepromatous. And I, I've always found that much more complicated. And it really, to me, depends kind of on the clinical situation.